someone has to commentate. Right, yeah. We're getting right back I, in. I know. Like, man, it, it's almost like I, I feel like Nintuna's covering for Skiff for a second. Yeah. No. All right, Senji, Jen. This time like we're not we're not a Zeno. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I feel like I've seen this before. Yeah, we haven't seen this in a while. Senji is now a lie. Jen doesn't travel to LI often, so, and Sinji doesn't go to Zeno that much anymore because it's a bit of a commute for him. So, it's now a rarity. Yep, it absolutely is. But Sinji playing, making some great corner play here, playing very defensively and making great use of this platform as well. Jen just not able to find ways in. But Palu's air game so, is so critical to her play, and Sinji's done a great job of taking that away early and forcing in Jen to find ways in on the ground. Yeah, no, definitely. And look at this corner trap right here. Okay, just throws Bell this time, but that Bell can apply so much pressure and just basically, like, this glide trap yep. kind of pseudo for free. Does was, his job. Yeah, great drift mix up from Jen, though, able to find that up air drifting back around the Z drop bell and find a way in. Now the back air calling out the grab, gonna put Sinji off stage in disadvantage here and gonna oh, find the it. grab that's gonna, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought, actually, he pulled an item there. Yeah. It, it, looked like he, it looked like he side beat, but yeah, yeah. It still went it, through. Yeah, it conserves your momentum when you press a special button just for a second. Unfortunately, closing it out, we see the bell immediately. The Sinji just still trying to look for the stock, but that's been the story of Palu players, is they've been able to hold on to these so long, both Gen and C all night. Not going to hold on to it there, though, but yeah. they're just able to rack on so much extra credit tonight that nobody's been able to stop them. Yeah, no, they've been so greedy with the holding the stocks. They should just give them away. Like, we all need free stocks. Come on. Yeah, I mean, did you see the Blitz and Miles set? They both SD. Oh, see? Oh, just charity. Yeah, it's the holiday season. We got to all be in a spirit of giving here, but maybe not tonight. These players trying to get ready for LMBM tomorrow and this weekend, and and that dash attack coming through, but not able to find too much offer because of the trampoline. Great defensive option from Sinji, but the invulnerable back are going to allow Jen to contest anyways through the Galaga and just maintain center stage. Yeah, no, definitely. And, all right, you see Sinji breaking it, and that's basically a part of like his what he wants. He wants you to hit the Hydrant, and then he counter hits you for it. Or if you don't hit enough, then he breaks, basically breaks it, and then the Hydrant's just going at you while you're in end lag of a move. Yeah, I mean, both these players so far really good stuff. And now you've got Palo with a bell. It can be so oh. scary. Going to find it, but not able. somehow Sinji just not uh, able oh, to lose the stock there, holding on for dear life. I have Jen not ready with the down air, and now invite Sinji back to center stage using the Hydrant to get down. And has a corner situation of his own. What can he capitalize yeah. on here, player yeah. And basically right there but the big thing is Jen has been catching these bells he knows when what to do and how to get like how to get it in the, his situation and you don't see a lot of players able to do that that shows so much matchup knowledge yeah unfortunate there from Sinji he was trying to Z catch that apple but um, but just getting the air dodge instead of mistimed it a little early and that result meant that he wasn't able to continue the juggle close out the stock get put it in the corner for it and now Jen's is applying so much pressure, not able to catch the bell with the dash attack there, but still able to just keep the situation going for at least one more second. Yeah, no. All right, what's the last trap here? Oh my god, that two frame. Mm -hmm. And if he jumps there, he hits the trampoline and then gets hit into the hydrant anyway. Yeah. So, But he didn't even get the chance yeah. to like do it, to grab the ledge. That setup is just so broken. And Pac-Man... Pac-Man's got all the zoning tools, all the trapping tools, and all the CQC yeah. buttons. Yeah, I, I just saw Palo back here, the Galaga, and I'm like, man, I wish I could do that. Wait, isn't it nice to have invulnerable buttons? It must be. I don't I don't know that life. And then imagine not having an invulnerable dash attack. Anyways, <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. is the R Snake player. <laughs> yeah. Snake player on the mic, Palo player on the screen. We both got him. <laughs> But right now, it's just Sinji holding center stage, giving it up to try and f start a combo here. But that second Galaga hit, not going to hit. Good stuff from Jen to find a way out of that. And now, Sinji just not oh. able to find these callouts. Jen, though, not able to find the punish player for yeah. And his defensive play has been so good playing around the plethora of mix-ups Sinji's been throwing at him. All right. Oh, I thought we were going to see another Hydrant right there. And yeah, almost got caught going high. That jab now putting him off stage. 
Sinji gonna use Pac-Man's very versatile recovery to get back, but again, Jen catching these items. He has so much experience in this matchup, and you better with how many Pac-Man players we have in the house tonight. Yeah, no. It was, it was a good amount. We had Kiwi here, mm -hmm. also a high-level Pac-Man. And of course we have Sinji. I probably a few other Pac-Mans. I, I think play. Drip is here too. Okay. As well, another Pac-Man. But uh right now it's Sinji still trying to find his way back to stage, hold on to the stock and get a chance to win this game three, but it's or game one, but it's not gonna matter. Yeah. The up air air calling out at the edge of platform from Jen, putting him in a checkmate situation and gonna take that game one and the big thing there was Sinji just didn't know what to do at the ledge and get out of Jen's vortex he was like basically ledge top for so long yeah uh, yeah and it was like once Jen kept catching the neutral get up and then once Sinji got up and rolled just back through him yeah I mean and and honestly both Jen and C have been so good at that tonight yeah. these reaction based ledge traps some very smart heads up play from both of them. Jen earlier using the t using the town side platform as it disappeared to get his double jump back and, oh, yeah. and to cover every option on the edge guard to close out the set. Yeah, so no, that's definitely really good. Just, you know, like, and now we're going back to town, so we'll see if he can do it again. Yeah. It's gonna be Sinji, Pac-Man, and versus Jen's Palu. Jen up a game, and Sinji trying to force a game three here. You know, gonna probably do it. I, I think we're gonna see game three. Uh, both of these players is, are so good. I could see Sinji just adapting. But Jen, also playing hot. Yeah, and if you're playing, right, it, you do not want to go down even this late in bracket into losers. We've got, Ki I think Kiwi's still down there. We've got Ling down there. There's some killers. Oh my god, on I that forgot team. Ling went down. Yeah. He just couldn't deal with C. He's been on a hot streak here at Encore recently. He, he, and not the only one is Jen managing to find an early corner situation, just racking on this percent. His counterplay to Pac-Man's items has been so impressive all yeah. about throughout tonight. And the big thing also, he's catching Sinji being really aggressive out of the corner. Caught him standing on the hydrant right there. Another aggressive option and, and killed and, him for and it. And even if Pac-Man, right, manages to break that hydrant that's a dash attack it's invulnerable he's not going to get hit for it it's a very safe button to throw in that situation and Sinji again right he's managing to find these hits rack up some percent but the way Jen's been playing defense and the way he's punishing these items over and over and over punish avoiding hydrant Sinji hasn't been able to get set up and find the situations to get the conditioning that Pac-Man needs to close these stocks yeah. out all right I like I like this but I, I'm not seeing it anymore. Yeah, it's I, looking like Sinji has been downloaded. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, I don't even know. It's like it is a download, right? We see these adjustments coming in from Jen. He's just he's starting to call out Sinji more and more, finding punishes on things that kind of just that he played the right defense for, but wasn't able to punish before. Or, but just Jen's been playing this matchup perfectly. Yeah, no. He knows what to do in the mining situations. We saw with the bell catches earlier. Now we see him standing on the platform. He's kind of waiting Sinji out. And you don't see that from a lot of people. The fact that he can stall out Sinji, known as Master of Patience. I mean, yeah, it's right. And when you can stall out a character that can literally set up a set up a wall and a wind box that turns into a projectile and you know has a billion projectiles at their disposal, it's I mean, that can be hard to do, and that's exactly why, right? No matter what, even if you're an advantage, all, they can just find an item, kill you out of nowhere, and since you're doing just that to at least get on the board this game. Yeah, no, he is doing such a great job. I don't like that dash attack right there, but will this be a bit too much ritual I, for I, Sinji? You know, I honestly, I, I still think Sinji... Sin Sinji has to find a quick stock the way Jen's been playing, right? Like, oh, no. I he, think he definitely has to. I think like he has to just almost not get hit and take this one on finding his first F smash of the set at, on a read there. C C Jen's been—I almost called him C for a second. Jen's been so good at avoiding these all through the night. Yeah, and I know we we have two good pals. It, it's hard. It's crazy to get them mixed up. Yeah, I mean, and right, they met in grands last week as well. So no strangers to this playing. The, playing at this high level this late in bracket. 
but right now, Sinji doing a very good job of this defense, right? Slowly bringing it back, racking up this percent, but still a ways to go, and he's got to start by closing it out, something he wasn't able to do with that Hydrant setup. All right, what's the closer right here? All right, not able to close it right there. Yeah, I think he might try and, I was gonna say, he might try and find a grab or something, and maybe look for a, a smash attack mix up. He's charging and looking for the apple, so when we've seen him really go away from the bell. There was the grab, but it's not gonna do too much at this point. Jen has been so good at avoiding those, and now we just see yeah. the, the impossible. Well, right, I, it just takes Sinji overextending once, he gets put in disadvantage, and Jen has capitalized on the situations all night, continuing to do so, and sending 